What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, two-time welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Showtime Sean Porter. He has his his podcast, The Porter Way Podcast. Go check him out on YouTube, The Porter Way Podcast. With that said, he uh, let it be known to his good friend, two-division undefeated world champion, currently the WBO reigning middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade. After Demetrius Andrade's performance against Liam Williams this past Saturday night, in which Demetrius Andre, he got the unanimous decision victory. He hurt Liam Williams a few times. He dropped Liam Williams in the fight. But he himself, he looked vulnerable in the fight, okay? Uh, he didn't have his best performance. He looked like, you know, uh, he had a lot of ring rust. He was out the ring for 14 months. He looked like he hadn't been fighting high-level opposition. Uh, he looked like he was disinterested. And he looked like he could be on the downside of his career. A guy of the stature of Liam Williams, this is not to take anything away from him, but he just has limitations that Demetrius Andre, the guy of Demetrius Andre status, doesn't have. He's very athletic. He's very talented. Uh, he has a high ring IQ. He has great pure boxing ability. He has power. He's a southpaw. What more can you say about Demetrius Andre? He's a big guy at six feet tall with a 74-inch arm reach. So he's a big guy. He's a southpaw. He has athletic ability, fast hands, fast feet. But it just doesn't show up in the second half of these fights. First half of his fights, it always shows up. He looks great. Second half of his fights, he starts to fade. And Sean Porter, he let it be known. He stated, I'm Demetrius Andrade's biggest fan. He says, I come to bat for Demetrius Andre more so than I do myself. Demetrius Andre, 30 wins, no losses, 18 wins by way of knockout. He's 33 years of age. He stands at six feet tall with a 73 and a half four inch arm reach. Okay. Uh, so he took on Liam Williams this weekend. He got a unanimous decision victory. With that said, Demetrius Andre, he's yet to be able to secure the, the massive uh, legacy fight in his career. There's a lot of talks that's, you know, uh, linking him to undefeated two division world champion who currently is the WBC reigning middleweight world champion, superstar boxer Jamal Lyons only Charlo. Uh, he's also been linked to four division world champion Mexican superstar Basa Saul Canelo Alvarez, who is now at super middleweight. And his talks, he's trying to secure a fight with former two time uh, junior middleweight world champion, or excuse me, former two time middleweight world champion uh, Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Okay. Uh, and he's just unable to do so. Now, that's partially due to his uh, promotional companies. Uh, that's also partially due to Demetrius Andre, you know, uh, just seeming to make bad decisions. He had to fight with the identical twin brother un of Jam uh, Jamal Charlo, that being Jamel Charlo at 154. He is now a two-time world champion, unified world champion, heading into an undisputed match with Brian Castano July 17th. With that said, he had a fight scheduled about five years ago. Uh, the week of the fight, he pulled out the fight, citing that he could get possibly more money, more money from a different source, and he pulled out the fight. Bad decision on his part. With that said, Sean Porter, he says that if Demetrius Andre is to get and secure a fight with Jamal Charlo right now, that version, he's going to lose. Uh, he says if he got the fight with Canelo Alvarez, he's going to lose. He even stated that I will go as far as to say if he got a fight with Gennady Golovkin right now, he would lose. He says that uh, this version of Demetrius Andre that showed up against Liam Williams would not be Jamal Charlo, would not be uh, Canelo Alvarez, and would not be Gennady Golovkin. He says, and with the Canelo Alvarez fight, I think that he would possibly get badly hurt in that fight with Canelo Alvarez. That version of Demetrius Andre and Sean Porter, he stated... I'm upset with myself because now moving forward, I don't know what I'm going to get from Demetrius Andre. Is Demetrius Andre just, is this just who he is now? He struggled in a lot of his last few fights. He struggled in a fight with Liam Williams. He struggled in a fight with Luke Keeler. He struggled, struggled uh, in a fight with uh, um, Arthur Akav. He also struggled in a fight with um, uh, uh, Atlantis Fox. 
and he struggled in the fight with Jack O'K. So one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, four out of his last seven fights, he struggled. Now, uh, the uh, Selecki fight, he looked good in the Selecki fight. Uh, and uh, Walter uh, Kantukawa, I can't pronounce his last name, who was the replacement for Billy Joe Saunders, he looked great in that fight. Uh, but he, you know, he has these moments. And you have to wonder, is it the inactivity? Is it the level of opponents? Or is it just the fact that Demetrius Andre is going on 34 years of age and Father Time is starting to knock on his door, right? But nonetheless, Demetrius Andre, he's not looking good. He looked vulnerable. And if you put Jamal Charles on the ring with the, uh, you saw the big punch that Liam Williams landed, a right hand that buckled Demetrius Andre. He faded back in the ropes. He, he stumbled back. He looked like he, you know, was dazed, but Liam Williams wasn't able to close the show. If that's Jamal Charlo, if that's Canelo Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez, if that's Gennady Golovkin, they're going to close the show. Uh, that's what Sean Porter is getting at. And this is interesting because, like I stated, Sean Porter and Demetrius Andre are very, very close friends. And Sean Porter is just uh, being 100% real. This is the same thing I uttered after immediately following the Demetrius Andre fight. I stated that what we saw from Demetrius Andre against Liam Williams will not do it, will not cut it against Jamal Charlo. It will not cut it against Gennady Golovkin. And it will not cut it against um, any of the upper echelons of the 160 and 168. Uh, Sean Porter, he also stated that if he was to go to 168, he says he may be able to uh, deal with Caleb Plant. That version of, of Demetrius Andre, he may be able to deal with Caleb Plant to a degree. But if you put that version of Demetrius Andre in the ring with David Benavidez, he may get stopped. And I have to agree, uh, David Benavidez, he's very big at six foot two with a 77 inch arm reach. He has power in both hands. He's very, he has very, very uncanny fast hands for a guy that doesn't have fast feet. Uh, but he's a pressure fighter with a lot of power. And we saw he struggled. Uh, he was uncomfortable, Demetrius Andre, that is, in the ring with Liam Williams. Liam Williams doesn't possess near the ability or the skill set of David Benavidez. So if if Liam Williams, who was a journeyman essentially in the sport of boxing, if he was able to make Demetrius un, Demetrius Andre uncomfortable from rounds one through 12, you know, uh, he's not the biggest guy in the world, okay? Uh, Liam Williams is at five foot 10 uh, with a 72 inch arm reach, okay? So he's not a big guy at all. David Benavidez is six foot two. So that means David Benavidez is three to four inches taller than Liam Williams, and he has um, a six six inch arm reach advantage over Liam Williams. So you imagine if Liam Williams was able to make uh, Demetrius Andre uncomfortable, and he was at a size disadvantage uh, with De uh, Demetrius Andre, then you can imagine uh, what David Benavidez would do with his pressure. Okay, uh, and he has relentless pressure. Unlike Jamal Charlo, is more is going to be more calculated. Uh, Gennady Golovkin, he's a pressure fighter. Canelo Alvarez. He's more calculated with his pressure. But Canelo Alvarez, he has a very high ring IQ, so he's going to put you in positions that he wants you in. Uh, David Benavidez is just going to pressure you something similar to Sean Porter. He's going to pressure you physically and mentally every second of every minute of every round. He's going to, you know, put a lot of pressure on you. And I believe that with power in both hands, David Benavidez would stop Demetrius Andre. And also, Canelo Alvarez, the combinations that uh, Canelo Alvarez throw, he, had, he again, he too has uncanny hand, uh, fast hand speed because his feet are very slow. Usually if you have fast hands, you have fast feet, okay? Uh, that's not the case with David Benavidez and Canelo Alvarez and guys like Ryan Garcia, okay? But the combinations Canelo Alvarez, he puts together, if he lands those combinations, he and he will against Demetrius Andrade, who just couldn't get out of the way of... Um, uh, Liam Williams, you know, I can see him getting knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. As uh, Sean Porter is saying, he could get seriously hurt by Canelo Alvarez or David Benavidez. And, uh, you know, he says that maybe Jamal Charlo uh, beats him. Maybe he stops him, right? Uh, he says that I'm going to, you know, even Triple G. Now, I don't know so much of Triple G because I think Triple G is past it, okay? Uh, he didn't look great against Sergei Dugarinchenko. He didn't look great in his last fight, even though he got the knockout, knockout victory. I thought Sergei Derenchenko beat him two fights ago. 
He just didn't get the nod in Madison Square Garden. But I clearly thought Sergei Derbyshenko should have gotten a nod in that fight. That's another guy, Sergei Derbyshenko. If you put him in the ring with Demetrius Bubu Andre, well, I believe that Sergei Derbyshenko, with his style and the pressure, because he's a, a more technical, uh, higher skilled guy than Liam Williams. So you put him in the ring, and he has more power than Liam Williams. You put him in the in the ring with Demetrius Andre. If he's not shot one, right, because he took a lot of punishment from the Danny Jacobs fight to the Triple G fight uh, and into the Jamal Charlo fight. So uh, if he has anything left in the tank, he may upset Demetrius Bubu Andre. So um, maybe he he's not motivated because the level of opponent. Maybe it's due to the inactivity. But like Sean Porter said, he got to get it together. Maybe we'll see the best of Demetrius Andre if he has a high level op uh, opportunity and opponent across the ring from him. But Sean Porter, uh, being a close friend and keeping it real with Demetrius Andre, lets him know if you fight that in that manner you did against Liam Williams, you are going to lose to all the rest of the upper echelon in the middleweight and super middleweight division and possibly hurt badly against Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez. So make sure y'all hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Wow.